Hey YouTube, this is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to play Atlas by Coldplay on guitar. Now this song is for piano, but I transcribed it on guitar, and that's why I'm zoomed in, since we're playing lots of piano kind of chords. These are more jazz chords. So uh, I'm going to really zoom in and show you how to make these shapes, because they're all kind of funky. So, the first shape that we hear, um, this only happens at the beginning. It's a C sharp suspended fourth or a C sharp sus four. Only these three notes. We got fret four on the A and D strings and then fret six on the G strings. So just those three. Once you finish that, you're going to go to an A6 chord, which are these three notes. We have fret five of the E string on the bottom fret 4 of the D string in the middle, and fret 6 of the G string on top. So those three notes are the first chord of the song, really, after the intro. Cool, so we got the A6. After this chord, you're going to play a G sharp minor 7. What I'm doing for the beginning of this song is I'm just going to keep all of the notes on the same strings. So this G sharp minor 7 is played on fret 4 of the E string, fret 4 of the D string, and fret 4 of the G string with my 2nd, 3rd, and 4th fingers. After that we're going to play a B minor 7, which is just taking this shape, moving it all the way to fret 7. 7 on the E string, 7 on the D string, 7 on the G string, like that. And then we have this chord, which is an F sharp over A sharp chord, F sharp slash A sharp. So I'm playing fret 6 on the bottom on the E string, fret 4 on the D string, and fret 6 on the G string. So let's play those four. So once we get into the verse, it goes like this. Great. Now let's move on. So we got C sharp minor after that, which is just a regular bar shape, if you know how to make some bar chords, C sharp minor like this, 4th fret on the A string, 6th fret on the D and G strings, 5th fret on the B string. Really that's all you got to play, you don't have to play the high E, because that note's not in the piano. So after you play this C sharp minor, you're going to play a, a pretty awkward chord, um, G sharp 7 over B sharp. So this is first finger, first fret G string. That gives us our G sharp. Second finger, third fret A string, which gives us our B sharp. Now I'm saying B sharp because in a G sharp 7 chord there is no C. It's a B sharp. It's G sharp, B sharp, D sharp, and F sharp. So after that, we're playing the 4th fret of the D string with the ring finger, our 3rd finger, that gives us our F sharp. And then on the top here, Pinky grabs the 4th fret of the B string, and that's the D sharp. So that's that chord. It takes a little bit to get stretchy. There's a few stretchy chords in this song. So the next one is another one. This one's F sharp. Suspended second. We have pinky on fret 9 of the A string. First finger gonna bar the 6th frets of the D and G strings. And then your second finger gets fret 7 of the B string. And then to finish out this line, we're gonna play E6 chord. 
which is 1st finger, 5th fret, B string, 3rd finger, 6th fret, G string, 2nd finger, 6th fret, D string, pinky, 7th uh, fret, A string. Just like that. So the next four chords, this is how it goes. over this E6, this kind of rising middle voice, I wouldn't be worried about that. I can't even play it, so I, mean, I could, but it's awkward. Even more awkward. So, okay. Once we reach that chord, we're going to play another E6, but this one's a little bit different. It's a different voicing. So this E6, we have E on the bottom, which is 7th fret A string with the 2nd finger. We're going to play the 9th fret D string with our ring finger. We're going to play the 6th fret with our 1st finger on the G string. And the 9th fret with the B string with the pinky finger. So that's another way to play an E6. After that chord, we're playing an F sharp minor six, which is like this. F sharp minor six is first finger on the eighth fret of the G string, second finger on the ninth fret of the A string, pinky on the eleventh fret of the D string, and then third finger on the tenth fret of the B string. Yep. F sharp. Minor six. So once you reach that chord, you're gonna go back down to the E six, and then quickly go to a D sharp, fully diminished seventh chord, which is like this: first finger on the fifth fret of the G string, second finger on the sixth fret of the A string, third finger on the seventh fret of the D string, fourth finger on the seventh fret of the B string. D sharp, fully diminished seventh chord. And that goes back down to the C sharp minor seven. This one you do have to bar to get the, the flat seven underneath there. So first finger on the fourth frets of the A and G strings, and then third finger on the sixth fret of the D string, and then second finger on the fifth fret of the B string. Like that. So this line sounds like this. Alright, now we're on the last line of the verse. You go back to our A6 we played earlier. And then we're going to make a G sharp 7 sus 4, which is like this. I'm barring fret 4 with my first finger, and I'm playing on frets 6 of the A string and 6 of the G string. Play all the way through from the low E to the B. You don't want to go any farther than that. So after we play that chord, we go back to A6, and then we go to B. This is where things get a little bit easier. So this last line goes like this. And then we're into the chorus, which is just an F sharp major chord, C sharp minor seven, E, and B. So to make these, F sharp major is barring across the second fret with your first finger. Um, middle finger grabs the third fret of the G string, pinky grabs the fourth fret of the D string, third finger grabs the fourth fret of the A string, playing all six strings. C sharp minor seven is over here, fourth fret, barring from the A through high E strings. All we did 
did this chord earlier, so you know this one already, but I'll finish it out again. Second finger on the fifth fret of the B string, third finger on the sixth fret of the D string. Like that. E is a regular open chord, first finger, first fret, G string, third finger, second fret, D string, second finger, second fret, A string. If you're watching this video, you should know E already. And then B, uh, bar chord on the A string, second fret, A string with the first finger, third finger grabs the fourth fret of the D, G, and B strings. And that's all the chords. Whew. play through once the whole verse. So, um, if you got any questions, please let me know. I'm going to post all of these chords and their shapes uh, in the comments, in the info, I should say. And I hope you enjoyed. Good luck on this one. It's tough, I understand. And uh, you'll just get it if you really practice. Just practice this chord a lot. This one's hard. Alright, I'll see you next time, guys.